to distribute the powder. Did you... Hold on, there's welcome. specific anyway Roxanne of course what for I did pretty <laughs> I had a pet suit If you want to know how to find the Alpha Natiba, you should go talk to Oracle. Oh, as expected. Did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. We're doing is really worth it. <laughs> nice to see you, Angel. I heard you brought back another hypercell. <laughs> this is amazing.
As the personal link expands, Oracle's condition continues to worsen. As the personal link expands. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an alpha nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. I will forward the map data to the tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Angel, the Sentinels continue to watch you. We don't just watch you. The Sentinels observe everyone and everything for the safety of Zion. The town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? So, you brought me all the way here. What for? Hey, relax. I'm just the messenger. Take this. What? This is... a terminal. This device is locked with a quantum passcode. What do you expect me to do with it? You're asking the wrong person, Angel. I was just told to give you that terminal in secret. Good luck, then. Hey! There's nothing more I can tell you. Good luck, Angel.
Kaya. Kaya? Oh, Angel. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about my sister. I hope she comes back soon. I'm tired of waiting. I have felt as though she's closer to me lately. It's a big relief, and it's all thanks to you, Angel. That's... that's good to hear. Angel, you're always welcome to come visit if you feel like talking. Maybe I'll have something interesting to share with you. so often, Angel. My comrades are waiting. I have to go. It's a good thing to have people who are willing to wait for you. All right, Angel. I'll do my best to get a hold of even more products. Thank you, Kaya. Promises he made were all lies. Uh, Angel! Uh, the looters took my sister. Please save my younger sister. Where are the looters now? There! Down the alley! Uh, Wait right here!
Angel, Angel. Everyone's happy to call you the Angel just because you came from the colony. Aren't we humans just like you? Well? Why should we have to dig through garbage, cower, and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? Many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your bodies. And with a body as state of the art as yours, need I say more? I've got to say, it'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. <laughs> Are you all right? Focus on me. Can you do that? Adam. These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. This can't be. I've never seen this before. It looks like Nativas weren't all humans had to worry about. Let's get you back to the safe house and do some maintenance. Meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Here. Done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. <laughs> we better take the alpha signal. Oh, look at all the dust in the socket.
Angel? Angel! <sighs> Stop. I'm not an angel. I'm... a child. Angel, the nice man over there told me to bring this over to you. What's this? Dunno, but I accomplished my mission. Bye-bye! <laughs> I got to see the angel up close. That's suspicious. Sending a random child instead of coming to me directly. What is this program? Patelos Plaza. Oh. Is this related to that flooded shopping mall? That's a pretty vague request. Seems like a trap. Could be. We'll know when we get there. Hmm. What to do? Hello there. How are you? May Mother's Sphere's blessings be with you always. Uh, uh... Yes. Meeting you like this now, it's Mother's doing. She's answered my prayers. If you came all the way to the ground for the sake of Mother's Sphere, well, I'm sure you'll at least listen to my request. A favor? I have a brother, a good man, and as devout as I am, if not more. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to make it out of Ados 7 before it was submerged. Ados 7. Now, it would be foolish of me to think he managed to survive. However, I would at least like to have his Book of Faith. It was precious to him. To us, that book is even more valuable than our lives. My brother was a librarian at the library in Ados 7. Knowing him, he stayed at that library until the very end, to protect it. Please, try to retrieve the Book of Faith from the library. A gold circle is engraved on the cover, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. All right. Thank you. Rest assured, Mother will protect you along your journey. Did you... Did you manage to find my brother's Book of Faith? Please? Barge in like this. The store is closed. Oh, Angel, uh, wh what are you doing here? I heard some noise. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I, I didn't know that. Sorry to bother you, Angel. As you can see, this is a general store. I, I trade all kinds of items. But I can't do business, not anymore. Why not? Well, I had a treasure in this store. I, I thought of it as my guardian angel. It's a gilt bronze standing Buddha. An old, valuable treasure. But my daughter Arun stole it. That item protects this store. She... She knows how valuable it is. I bet she wanted to sell it at the market. I see. Tell me what I can do to help. Thank you, Angel. If you terrify the scavengers at the market, they'll tell you where it is. Terrify them? Yes, Angel. Please, bring back my gilt bronze standing Buddha. Please, I beg you. Fine. I'll see what I can do.
wanted to see. Hello, I'm Matthias. Oh, that's a <laughs> looks a little suspicious. I have to return to the input unit. The drop pod that Lily was trapped in. I should hurry. I think I know where. Kill me. I don't know what to say. It's you, Angel. Now, why would an angel visit the last gulp? Here for a song, perhaps? I could ask you the same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion and the store. Or so he says, that place is the devil's lair. That's why there's lost treasure in it. Devil's Lair? Yes, the Devil's Lair. An underground chamber echoing with the roars of Natibas. I even got near the place to find my partner. But I turned back like a coward. After that, I couldn't possibly continue life as a scavenger. I can't stand idly by if Natibas are involved. I'll help. Why? Why? There's nothing in it for you, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I just want to know if Tommy is alive. All I need you to do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. I've also heard that he's seeing someone else. Do you... do you think he will abandon me? I don't think Sue would do a thing like that. Please, don't worry. This might just be a misunderstanding. Where exactly did you hear this? I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. 
Thank you very much. Hello, Eve. I... Um... It's nothing, really. There's no need to worry. Okay. I understand. Eve, do you think that Sue... No. We can't confirm or deny anything yet. Okay. Eve. Oh. Eve. I suppose you're leaving. Goodbye. All right. Take care now. What brings an angel here? I heard that you've been saying some strange things about Sue. What? Oh, right. You probably heard that from Enya, didn't you? But I guess that's not that important. I haven't seen Sue at all for the past few days now. Sorry, Sue's abandoned his post. He's not the type to do something like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder what happened to him. I'll have to investigate these in the right order. Do you know who Sue was meeting up with without Enya's knowledge? I... I couldn't say for certain. They were far away. Ah, all right. This complicates things. This puzzle's more complicated than the last one. Hmm. Retro. But I'll be able to see just what kind of information is passing through. You! Angel! Fancy learning a little bit about history? History? Me! Me! I'm very interested! 
My goodness. Now that's what I call a surprise. It's wonderful to hear that you're interested. The citizens here are too exhausted or jaded to truly appreciate the wonders of history. Well, I'm not exactly. I'm especially interested in organic civilizations, like the organic humans that lived before us. Unfortunately for us, not many records remain intact. Refusing to listen to others, I see. Don't you find it odd? Even if history was neglected, it's strange there is zero mention of organic humans. It's almost as if it's forbidden knowledge. See, isn't this exciting? Ha, <laughs> of course it is. Curiosity is what drives humanity. We're always learning. Listen, I came up with an idea while wondering where to get records of uh, organic humans. I heard that you visited the Hall of Records over in Ada 7. Is that true? And you managed to retrieve a hypercell? That may be true, but... Yes! Then please, grant my wish. I'd like you to get information on organic humans from the information terminal at the Hall of Records. I have total faith in you. Please, please. But the Hall of Records is already... Eve! Eve! You should be able to connect to the information terminal via the door switch by the entrance. <sighs> Lily, would you like to come along? <laughs> what can I say? I'm curious. Of course I'd like to learn more about the civilization that came before us. Okay. I'll try to look for it the next time I'm in Ados 7. <laughs> I knew it! You and I have something in common after all. All right, then. I'll be right here, patiently awaiting your return. Go! Run along! Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Forbidden area. Yeah, makes sense. Forbidden? Did all cool band people from going to that place? No, Eve. See for yourself. There's something moving down there. What do you think? Does that look like a bottomless pit to you? <laughs>
person died recently. So, this must be the partner. Then something must have been here. Getting any more enemy signals. Let's head back. Well, after we pay our respects, of course.
Angel, what happened? What happened to Tommy? I'm sorry. Tommy. I think he left this for you. This is... you fool. What's the point of having all these assets? If you're gonna go and get yourself killed... Business is booming, yeah right. It's all useless if you're dead. Tommy. You fool. Hey, you okay? Yes. Yes, I'll be fine. I should get back to the store. I can't ignore what my friend left behind. I never thought I'd be saying this to you. But... Thank you.